The usual way to roast garlic involves slicing the top off the head, roasting it whole, and then squeezing the cloves out of the skins. Now this works great, but your fingers get all sticky. You end up getting little papery pieces of skin stuck in the garlic, and the garlic gets all smashed up, so you can really only use it in a puree. But there's a better way. This tip comes from fine cooking editor Jennifer Armentrout. Instead of roasting the garlic whole, separate it into individual cloves. You don't need to peel them, but you do want to remove any of this loose papery skin. Now using a paring knife, just nip off the root end of each clove. You want the skin to stay on for the most part, but if a little bit comes off, it's fine. Put the cloves on a square of aluminum foil and drizzle them with some extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to use my fingers and make sure that they're all coated in that oil. Now at this point you could add a sprig of herbs like thyme or rosemary or you can just keep them as they are. Now I'll just gather the foil into a pouch. Now roast this in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes until the garlic cloves are softened and lightly browned. The garlic smells amazing, so I'm just going to open the packet and let it sit until the cloves are cool enough to handle. And then just give it a little squeeze and the cloves will pop right out. These whole roasted garlic cloves are a beautiful garnish for braised dishes or pasta, but if you need them in a puree, just smash them up with a fork. For more tips and recipes, go to finecooking.com.